Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, I am Aspen. Nice to have you guys on my channel today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my winter makeup routine, hence why I am barefaced. And we are not going to address this. It is that time of the month. Let's just ignore that. Um, but today I decided to share with you guys my winter makeup routine because throughout the year my makeup routine has been getting simpler and simpler. Is simpler even a word? I don't know. I've definitely narrowed down my makeup routine to like my go-to products, which makes my makeup routine super quick if you guys want to see what I do before my makeup routine hence my skincare routine I do have my am and p.m. skincare routine on my channel already for the winter time so I will have that link down below as well as at the end of the video so you guys can click on that but without further ado let's go ahead and get into my makeup routine I also want to address that I woke up this morning and I feel like trash so that is why I sound like this I just feel like garbage. I'm first going to go in with my favorite primer. It is my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This primer is super good for like dry seasons or climates because it helps hydrate your skin. It smells like coconut so even during the winter time you can pretend like you're in Hawaii or something and it's great. So for my foundation I've been using a combination my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and my It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, I've been using my Hourglass Foundation on my cheeks just to cover up a little bit more of my acne scarring. And then going in with my It Cosmetics CC Cream, I just put this on the remainder of my face, like my forehead, my nose, my chin, um, just to kind of cover up the rest of my face. I love my It Cosmetics CC Cream because it is so light on the skin. I've talked about it on my channel so many times before. And then during the winter time, I feel like I don't sleep as well, so I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You guys know this is my go-to, my ride or die. It covers up my under eye circle so well. I will also have all the products that I use in this video down below if you guys want to check any of them out. The next step that I like to do is use my Glossier Cloud Paint and Dusk. Um, this is a liquid blush. It is so pigmented um, and I just like to put this on my cheeks just to add a little bit of color to my cheeks but it's more of a natural color to my cheeks. I just love to use this on my cheeks to kind of add some warmth to my face. And then to start off with the glow, I like to go with my Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz. This is just a really nice, like, natural, dewy highlight. With this, like, I don't even mind where I put it because it just makes my skin look so nice and dewy and fresh. This is one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine because I don't have to drench myself in, like, champagne pop just to have a glow. Like, I just love this natural glow that I got going on. Here. Next to set my under eyes, I like to go in with my Glossier Wowder. Mine is in light medium with the brush that it comes with. Um, and I just like to set my under eyes as well as my halo scope and my blush um, just because this is a really lightweight, sheer almost powder. I also think it makes your under eyes look a little bit more like not tired if that makes any sense. The next product I tried to show my camera but the reflection was so bad you couldn't even read what it was but it's my Tarte Double Duty Creamy Powder Foundation. This is a powder that I like to set my face with because it is a little bit more for full coverage so I will just put this like on my cheeks um, a little bit on my nose and my forehead. I like to pat the powder into my skin that way I'm actually like pressing it into my skin and not really disturbing the makeup that I put underneath. Then for a little bit more of a glow I I like to go with my Tarte Exposed Highlight um, just to add a little bit more glow to my face to make me look a little bit more dewy. I just want to add a little bit more glow. I don't want it to be like super like bam in your face. So now I need to do my eyebrows and I actually need to get my eyebrows done so please don't mind them. Um, but I just like to spoolie them out and then go in with my Anastasia dip brow just to outline the bottom. Especially because my eyebrows aren't done. This is like a necessary step for me. And then I just go in with my Glossier Boy Brow. This is my favorite brow product ever and I just like to go through my eyebrows and comb this through. This helps fill them in um, and helps them stay in place all day. 
So now that these thick brows are done, um, I like to put a little bit of eyeshadow on my eyes just to kind of create some definition on my eyes. So I'm going in with my Modern Renaissance palette um, and I'm just going to be taking um, raw sienna and putting a little bit of that in my crease. Also, sometimes how I'm feeling that day, I might make it a little bit darker than this. I might not use any eyeshadow at all. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. And then, of course, I'm going to go in with my tried and true Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You guys know this is my favorite. Some days I will put on Ardell Demi Wispies if I want a little extra length, um, but most days I only stick with my mascara. I'm literally asking everyone, this is like on my Christmas list for everyone. I need more of these mascaras and need to be stocked up. Does anybody else hate when that happens? Because I do. And then I'm just going to put some of that Tarte highlight in my inner corner as well just to kind of brighten up my eyes and make me look a little bit more awake. So I like to go ahead and kind of stick with a, stick with a pretty simple lip combo. Um, I have my Glossier Balm.com here to keep my lips extra hydrated. And then to add a little bit more shine, I'm going to go ahead and go with my Glossier Lip Gloss. The Cherry Balm.com, you can tell, adds just a little bit of tint to the lips, which is what I really like about it. And then to finish off my makeup routine, I just like to spray my face with some rose water spray, setting spray. Today I'm using my rose water spray um, just to kind of melt the products into my skin, make my skin look nice and fresh, dewy, all that stuff. And that is it for my winter makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I put on my face during the winter time. I just like to keep it nice, natural, fresh. Um, and then if I want to, I will add like a pop of color with my lips or maybe add some lashes to make my eyes look a little bit bolder. Um, like I said, I will have all the products that I use down below if you guys want to check any of them out. Um, and I will have my winter skincare routine linked down below and somewhere right here so you guys can watch that if you're curious to see what I do before my makeup. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!